It's the network. This morning, and it's very, <laughs> it was very, 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 um, you know, get really uh, shifted my perspective because a lot of people have been coming to me, you know, oh, bro, you know, you should look into Bitcoin and blah, blah, blah. And like you were saying, that's not your lane, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. weren't, you're not going to be able to capitalize and monetize on that if you haven't been preparing for that, which made so much sense. It really helped me. But um, the question I had that stemmed from that was when you started talking about uh, private experiences. Like, I have friends who, you know, they make adult content on OnlyFans and stuff. What platforms would you recommend for an artist to take advantage of that, uh, for, for, of these private spaces? Or what app would, you know, be the best for an artist to, to do that? You know, I've heard of Twitch, but eh, I haven't yeah, used man, it that there much. is no best, honestly, right? Because you can do unlisted links on YouTube. You can do this Zoom type of video. You can do um, Vimeo. You can do Twitch. You can do OnlyFans and make a thing out of it, even though it's not going to be mm -hmm. that type of content, right? But still the novelty of it and, and, and share it that way, right? It's really just up to you. Like there's no platforms that are truly built for an artist in that way, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of platforms that you can use to do it. Almost anybody that has a video sharing platform today, you can just you know, it's a, provide, a private link. How else will other people even know it exists? So just, it's up to mm -hmm. you which one you're most comfortable with. Okay, cool. Definitely. Yeah, I got some ideas for, for these type of live uh, of sharing of apps. You know, I definitely want to do something where I'm just, basically, I'm just freestyling. You know, people come in and they just freestyle. I was thinking of a listening party, but I don't know how the audio, how good the audio quality is on here. So I was thinking instead of like people coming in to listen to, you know, links or like, you know, uh, leaks or whatever, whatever I'm going to drop next, you know, they can come in and hear me freestyle or just, you know, I can present something to them exclusive that you ain't going to get on other platforms. Yeah, I mean, you can freestyle, you can test it out with the yeah. audio, right? If you listen to a Joe, uh, like Joe Budden podcast or whatever, whenever they play the sleeper music at the end, it sounds just as good as everything else because they have, the, they're setting it up into the board, right? And I have a, a mixer that allows me to do stuff like that if, if I wanted to. So you can test out and do something like that if you wanted to it's just it's once you have the idea then it's just spending time on figuring out how to execute the creative idea in a way that's up to the quality standard but we know like i've been saying this for years to do these type of experiences and all, all now all of you see uh, all of a sudden you see because of the quarantine thing now a lot of people are doing it like this dj nice dude had like a hundred and something K people on one live stream yeah. over a period of time, which is crazy. And I don't even know how, I, like, I don't even know who he was, which is even crazier. I'm like, I, yeah, he already had this big of a following and, I, and he's supposed to be in hip hop and I never even know who he was, but whatever, right? The, the point is he was able to do that. Erica Badu had her private, uh, well, you know, the concert she did, John Legend and Chrissy. All, it's, it's so easy, right? Now it's just about, because they're not even, they're branding it in that way. And I always suggested not only to brand it that way, to truly package that way, where it's creatively executed to take advantage of that type of environment. And that's when you're gonna get the big win because now people are already familiar with the brand, right? And the packaging of, hey, this is, a private event, you know, because of like the quarantine that I've seen conference calls, people have done um, happy hours via video chat and all those types of things, which is nothing but what we're doing right now, except now they're branding it to leverage what's going on right now. So now that doesn't, you lost that novel idea from that aspect, just a fact of it being because so many people are used to it. And now they'll just think, oh, you got this and you start doing this because all the quarantine stuff. That's what everybody does. It's nothing new and interesting. Now it's about you doing it to an extent where there's like creative execution in a way that's not just, hey, I got a camera set up and you're watching me. Cause that's more so how people have done it right now. They still haven't tapped in to really utilizing the, uh, the, the creative boundaries of that. And, you know, we talked about that a lot in the content. Um, you know, gauntlet. So, mm -hmm. and what that looks like. So, that part, I would, I would ask you to go in. Don't just be, yo, I'm freestyling and doing that. Figure out whether it's deeper engagement or whether they're 
really tapping into almost a a play like experience. You know what I mean? Where you acted something out. I like I don't know. There's so many different ways to 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 tweak it, but find out what makes sense to you. Mm. Have you have you heard of uh, Quarantine Con? It's the network. <laughs>